In this video, we're going to talk about using the questionnaire tool. So the questionnaire tool is a great tool to get information back from your students, feedback back from your students. It's not designed as a graded assignment. You can give a grade for the student doing it, but the actual questions, unlike a quiz, aren't graded. There's no right answer for them. It's just to collect that data. So here I am logged in as a student. I'm going to go into a sample questionnaire and I get the option uh, to start answering the questions. So I'm going to go in. And so the first type is a check box. I get to check as many as I like. So I'm going to check some of these. Second question is a date question. So I can pick a date and I can uh, go to a further a forward year or an older year if I'd like. Um, and so I can pick something far in the past or even in the future. I can then, the next question type is a drop down. And so it is designed for a drop down list where you pick one item. The next is essay. It is designed for a large um, paragraph or up to a page or so. Uh, I would try not to do a, more than a page answer. The next is a label type and this is really not a question. It is a way of putting text, images, multimedia uh, inside a questionnaire without a response uh, being expected. So things like the instructions, things like that. Uh, the next is a numeric. So it is looking for a number. Uh, so I could type some number into this. The next is a radio button and so uh, this is looking for one answer uh, and I can check one of these buttons and it even gives me an answer uh, selection for no answer so I'm going to pick one of these. The next is a rating scale so I have my um, questions or, or pieces down the side and then I have a rating across the top. I've indicated one is a low rating, five is a high and so I can go through here and pick those answers that I want. The next is a Likert scale uh, so it is designed to be dra dragged with the mouse to one side or the other to indicate um, which side of the scale you want. Uh, the next is a numeric I'm sorry, the next is a text box. So this is designed uh, for a single answer or one or two word answer, uh, unlike the essay question. Uh, the next, the last question type is a yes or no. And so uh, I can go in here and pick uh, one of these or no answer is option uh, as well. So I must submit those. And you see it gives uh, the student a response back that you have submitted this questionnaire. Dependent on the settings the instructor chooses, they can go in and look at their responses, how they did. Uh, you can also let them go in and change their answers after the first attempt. And if I have released this as the instructor, uh, they will be able to go in and view all student responses within the class. Now in the, as the instructor, I can go in and look at the questionnaire and I can preview the questions myself or I can view their responses and by default uh, it's going to show me uh, all of the responses together and try to uh, give me a summary of those and so here's that first checkbox that we looked at uh, it even gives me the number of students that's responded to this and what each uh, student answered uh, as a summary the next is the date, and so it's going to list those dates that were given. Uh, we also have the drop-down box, and so it gives me uh, a count of how each person or each uh, answer on my drop-down, how many got that. If, no, if they have none, so remember there were more than these three on the original list, but it only lists those that some student has or some respondent has actually picked. Then we have the essay um, option. So this will give you um, a listing of every essay. Uh, again, this is not designed for very large essays. You can see how this would become uh, unwieldy if they answered you know, up to a page or even more. Then we have the label that was on the quiz, uh, no answers to it. Then we have the numeric answers. 
and so it gives those individual responses and gives an average. Uh, next we have uh, the radio buttons. Um, so this is uh, where we have that list. We could pick one so it shows the ones that have been picked and the, the students that have are the respondents that have answered that one. So three respondents have answered onions in this case. Uh, then we have the rating scale and so it shows you a summary of where those ratings have been picked and the percentage for each of those so you can kind of get an idea of what those are. Uh, the slider scale, it shows the response for each student or each respondent uh, where on the scale they fell. We also have uh, the short answer uh, text box and so here are the answers that were given in those and the yes no question. Additionally, at the top, if I go, uh, this is all the responses together, but if I go um, to the list of respondents, I can pick a specific student and see all of their answers uh, for that essay, or for that questionnaire.